Hey folks, welcome back to the Dev Influencer Show. Um, I just got back from a trip from Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, I could go into so much stuff. Um, in fact, I'm going to start an audio journal. This is inspired by uh, Cliff Ravenscraft. So if you want to know more about that, go to devchat.tv slash premium. Uh, it's going to be a premium show, kind of behind the scenes on what I'm working on and why I'm doing it, what I'm learning, all that stuff. Um, but in the meantime, I wanted to kind of dive in and talk a little bit about some of the things that I picked up this weekend. Now, I know that I was kind of in the middle of telling the podcasting story. Um, I will get back to that. But this stuff is just kind of fresh on my head. And so I want to make sure that I get it covered. Okay. So um, it's interesting because I, so I went to this event, right? And um, there are like nine or 10 guys in my group. And we talk every week. We talk during the week. We text back and forth. You know, um, kind of some of my best friends, to be perfectly honest. Um, I think of them as family in a lot of ways. Um, one guy really helped me pull through a lot of personal stuff um, and kind of stood in for my dad in some ways after I lost him. So um, and then, you know, these other guys, if I need something, I, I, I can talk to them and, and they help me through this stuff. But what was interesting was, and, and this ties into this idea too, but um, so we get there and uh, the guy who kind of runs the whole shebang, right? There were like 150 guys there, um, you know, and our group was just one of the groups of guys there. Uh, he gets up and he starts talking about kind of the core principles or values behind his business. And the first one, number one, is that relationships are the most important. And he just he just talked about it for like an hour. And I'm sitting there and I'm just dumbfounded, right? Because um, I've been so focused lately on um, production, on issues, on hosts, on processes. And I think a lot of times we really get caught up in what really matters or what, I'm sorry, we get caught up on all of the how, right? And all of the the big things that we have to do in order to get our, our show out or to build our influence or to show people how smart we are or whatever, right? And because we're all caught up in that, we forget about the thing that's most important. And that thing really is the relationships, right? And I, I just came away from there, just kind of my brain just going a million miles, miles an hour. Oh, I need to connect with this person again. I need to talk to this person again. I need to talk to this person again. When we have new guests on, I need to make sure that we're reaching out to them and following up and making sure that, you know, that, that they're getting what they need from this stuff and just all of that stuff. I, it's, it's, it's so interesting to me because um, at the end of the day, that's what makes everything tick. And so the relationships really are kind of the whole thing, right? They are the most important part. And when I talked uh, within the first like seven episodes, I think it was episode four or five, um, I talked about why I do this, right? And I talked about some of the people who had come to me and let me know that the podcast had helped them out. And those relationships, right? It's, it's what am I doing to continue to serve these people? What am I doing to, to help make the community richer? What am I doing to, to be there for, for these folks? And then not just the folks that are going to get me ahead, but the folks that I'm bringing in as guests. What am I doing for the relationship with the listener? What am I doing for the relationship with my co-hosts? What am I doing for the relationship with, with I mean, all, all these other people? And it, it really just occurred to me that, that relationships really are the key to podcasting. And as much as we talk about, you know, which mic are you using and, you know, what, what other things are you doing and, and what really matters to podcasting? Um, that's what I came away with. And what's interesting is, is that um, it's not just this woo-woo idea that's out there, right? I mean, there are some pretty concrete things you can do to prioritize relationships. And I got back and I realized that I had messed some up. Um, I realized that there were some that I had just not, I hadn't reached out to anybody, these people in a while. Uh, some of them, I didn't really know where I stood with them. There are still people that I'm going to be trying to reach out to this week. Um, 
but at the end of the day, I mean, that, that was the thing, right? So, um, and it just kind of stuck with me and they, they had other uh, folks talk about different aspects, right? So um, some of the guys that were there, you know, in later sessions of the, it was, it was kind of a conference and kind of a retreat and kind of a get together. It was depending on which part you were talking about, but um, like some of the guys got on and they talked about relationships with family and how to talk about important stuff with your kids. Um, another guy got up and talked about uh, culture and, you know, how you build culture within your community. And, uh, you know, another guy talked about how to, you know, kind of get in the room and how to build relationships with people who will help you get ahead, right? Because that's definitely part of this. But overall, the the thing that really hit home, there were three things that really just kind of stuck out to me. And so I'm going to share them. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about my plans with this. And then I'm going to go into way more detail behind the scenes on what I'm doing with this in the the audio journal. Um, I think I'm going to call it the dev chat diaries or something. I'm, I don't know. I like the alliterative names, if you can't tell with Ruby rogues and JavaScript Jabber. But um, at the end of the day, whatever I call it, you know, behind the dev chat, I don't know. Uh, whatever I wind up calling it, it's, it's, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go deep and I'm going to be like, all right, this is what I'm doing. And this is what I picked up. But um, yeah, so I'm reaching out to folks and my goal, honestly, is to reach out to a, any of these people that I feel like I kind of left things in a weird place. Right. So some of them I've kind of messed things up on. Um, I went through some really, really hard personal times, uh, 2018, 2019, 2020. Um, some of it related to COVID, I guess, but most of it was just my own. Uh, I have another friend, he calls it head trash. <laughs> so I was going through my own head trash, right? I was, I was dealing with that. But in the meantime, um, yeah, some of it was just, you know, I've gotten busy trying to juggle all the balls and I realized that it's, it's the people, right? Um, so at the end of the day, my plan is, is, you know, obviously I'm going to be doing more stuff with my family because those are the most relation, uh, important relationships. And I love that I came home from Nashville and I got about 80 hugs from my five kids. Right. You know, it's like, Oh, I missed you. You know, and then 10 minutes later, oh, I love you, dad. And anyway, um, and, and that's important, right? You know, I made sure I spent some time with my wife this evening because it was important to me. Right. And it's, it's funny because. I'm not doing it out of a sense of guilt. I'm not even doing it out of a sense of uh, need to so much as just that I want to be with them and I want them to know that they're a priority for me, right? Um, but as far as the rest of it goes, right? So I called a couple of guys this afternoon um, or tried to and, um, you know, just had a conversation with them. Um, one guy in particular, uh, things were left kind of weird um, post getting canceled. Right. Um, and uh, I, I could have done things better there. Uh, I don't know that there's necessarily anything that I need to out and out apologize for. Right. I don't think I did anything wrong. I just didn't handle things as well as I should have. And then I got caught up in me and stopped, you know, stopped nurturing that relationship. Right. Last month I did that. I reached out to another friend of mine and uh who's in kind of the same circle um you know we just had a conversation about what was going on and where his business was and where he was working and what was going on with his kids and you know chatted about me and what you know because he asked me you know what was going on with my family and stuff like that and and he's met my wife and i've met his family and you know and so we've we've kind of had that back and forth conversation his wife actually um helped us get a foreign exchange student uh in 28 I think uh, might've been 2017. It was 2018. I'm pretty sure, but we, you know, and so, and we love her to death, but at the same time, it's just, um, you know, it's, it's those kind of relationships, right? And it's not what you can get from them though. You do get from them, but it's also what you can put into them. And what I find is, and this is one of the major themes for, for the conference was just what you get out of relationships often reflects what you put into them. So anyway, um, so my plan is, is to reach out to as many of these people as I can every week. Now, uh, to put kind of a finer point on it, um, my plan is essentially to just put all these people into a single database so that I know who they are. I know what their strengths are. I know what they do. 
right? And and that way, if somebody can benefit from knowing them, right, I can introduce people to each other, right? Hey, I think you can help them, and I think they can help you, right? Um, and so, you know, just be able to do that for people, because a lot of times that's a really powerful thing to be able to help people out. But at the end of the day, the other bit of this is, is that I want to, I want to follow up. I want to know, I want to be, um, you know, a part of their life. Now I don't have to be an everyday part of their life, but I can be an every month part of their life or an every few months part of their life, depending on the priority that they have for me. Right. So, you know, depending on the kind of relationship we have. And so I'm planning on making a list, right. And then I'm planning on breaking that down into, you know, different categories. So like past guests, past hosts, past uh, whatever, you know, friends, you know, people I've met at conferences, uh, sponsors, um, you know, contacts from other things, right? And so I'm I'm going to categorize them that way. And then I'm also going to prioritize them and just be like, okay, these are the people that are most important that I need to reach out to and make sure that I maintain that relationship with. Right. These are the people that, you know, kind of come next in some way or another. Right. And then I really am planning on reaching out to pretty much every past guest we've had and past hosts we've had over the last 10 years and just see what they're up to and see if there's something I can do to help them. And that right there is is a massive amount of work. I mean, we've produced at devchat.tv we've literally produced more than 3000 podcast episodes. So as you can imagine, yeah, we've had repeat guests and some of them have been host only shows, but we're probably talking about 1500 to 2000 people who have been guests on the shows. And I want to make sure that they know that we're not just here to talk about their tech, right? We're here because we want to be part of the developer journey that they're on and that their contribution to the community matters to us. Um, and so that's what I'm after. Right. And even if I call somebody up and they need some help and they're never able to reciprocate, it doesn't matter. Right. I mean, we're here to help everybody move forward. And so if we can help them move forward, I'm sure they'll pay it forward to somebody else. And, you know, some of these people it will come back to us because that's the way this works. But at the end of the day, it's the relationships that matter. And so that's going to become a big part of devchat.tv moving forward is that relationships matter most. And it's interesting, too, because a lot of people, especially if they've been doing something as long as I have with the podcast, right? I mean, I've been podcasting for 12 years. They kind of get into a rut and they just let it go. And I love that I have this opportunity to grow personally. And then I also have this opportunity to grow professionally at the same time. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing what this brings. And I'm going to put all of the stuff that I am doing for this into the Dev Influencers Accelerator so that other people can kind of do it right from the beginning. So if you're interested in fostering relationships that are going to get you what you want, and I've kind of figured out that with the Dev Influencers Accelerator, what we're really doing is we're helping people um, build community and become well-known developer authority type people. And then what we're doing is we're helping them figure out how to start a side hustle with that, that that probably will eventually become a full-time thing so that they can help more people. And that's, that's what I think we see with a lot of the folks that are out there doing this, right? I mean, a lot of folks see the folks that are putting out courses like Wes Boss or um, Kent C. Dodds or some of these other guys, right? And Nobody resents the fact that they're selling their courses, but the other thing that it does is they're bringing in enough money to enable them to spend more time helping more people. And I, I just see all of this as kind of this virtuous cycle that comes into the community and adds more to it. So that's what we're working on. That And, and those are the kinds of relationships that I want to build or the kinds of relationships that we can have with people that are going to actually be making that kind of difference. So... Anyway, if there's somebody out there that you think I should know, that I should have a relationship, I, re I would really appreciate you reaching out to me and letting me know who they are so I can get to know them. And if you want a relationship with us, with me, with some of my co-hosts, you know, feel free to reach out. Um, because it's not just the relationships, like I said, with kind of the, the top echelon of people, but, you know, everybody brings something. 
and I'd love to get to know you better. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to stop here. I, I have a few other thoughts on this, but they're probably going to percolate through on the next uh, few episodes. But uh, yeah, um, uh, in the next episode, I am going to be talking about uh, the next two episodes. A friend of mine is looking to start a podcast and he asked me what the most important skill to have was. And so I'll tell you what that is um, in the next two episodes. So stay tuned for that. If you want to be in the Dev Influencers Accelerator, then go to devchat.tv slash influencers or devinfluencers.com. Either one will take you to the right place. Um, if you want to subscribe to the this is a podcast, go to devinfluencers.com slash podcast. We finally got it in all the app stores. And uh, yeah, till next time, Max out.